we welcome you to the Ogono Art Family, people. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to be speaking about healthy eating for creative endeavors. And so, when it comes to food and health, many people are unaware about how the way you eat links to everything emotionally, physically, and mentally in your vessel, in your body. And so, when it comes to creating art or creativity your vessel needs the proper fuel to access of your full mental capabilities your your full emotional capabilities when you're drawing or or when you're diving into that uh, creative action and i feel that the fuels that we put in our bodies can either enhance us or slow us down And as well as become stressless depending on the types of foods that we put in our body. And I feel that stress is one of the leading causes that kills creativity. And so to speak from personal experience on my path. So I'm a a plant-based eater, a vegan. Prior prior to the, the veganism that I, you know, went to, I was eating a lot of junk food. And I felt my mood was feeling very, you know, down. I was slow to process things and etc and so I feel that if you are to eat the uh, the unhealthy or the, the junk foods it will slow down the process but if you were plant-based diet much more healthy eating diet it'll help to you know speed up the productivity it'll help you feel more better because good foods make you feel good and when you feel good you can easily access more of that creative creativity that flow And you won't have much of that mental clutter. A plant-based food that I personally enjoy is uh, spinach because it's high in iron. And iron will dictate the rather you feel tired or not. Because if you you give yourself some iron, you'll most likely not get that tired feeling. And every morning I drink drink a smoothie and add like two teaspoons of... uh, chia seeds and chia seeds are packed with omega-3s and what omega-3s can help you with is you know memory improvement concentration etc and also chia seeds is packed in proteins there's also foods like avocados watercress uh kale uh, foods that are really high in magnesium and what magnesium what that does to help out the body is that it helps to increase your energy and it helps to you know calm your nerves and it helps to calm your anxiety and so like working out a muscle or drawing or practicing a a new language or so you have to uh, constantly uh, eat those foods every day to really feel the full effects and that's what I've seen along my path when joining into that uh, when going into the uh, plant-based diet or the plant-based lifestyle and so you don't have to go full-on plant-based vegan diet like me. You can still uh, consume the, the meats and your cheese and the, the milk if you desire, but be more conscious about what you put into your body. Be more conscious of the fuels, the plants. You can start to embed more plant-based, uh, plant-based uh, you know, foods into your diet and start to you know, notice that difference. And I feel that everything all goes back to nature. The foods that we put in our body, the the environment that we're surrounding ourselves ourselves in. And so if you were to like look at, you know, herbs, if you were to, you know, grow a a rosemary plant in your home or so, you would smelling the uh, aroma of the 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 rosemary plant is uh, said to increase your memory by 75%. And with a higher increase in your memory, you can remember more things in your drawing studies, you know, have more of, you know, more flexibility, more flexibility in the flow of your creativity. And so the more in tuned you are with nature in your diet and in your environment, you can fully access the potential, your potential. And consider subscribing to the family. So you can hit that. And don't forget to uh, hit the, the red bell button for to get notified for when I upload every Saturday. So when you click that, you'll see this. You can click the chat box to send the notifications for you and then just save it. I also provide 
you guys a uh, discord or a place to chat my discord will be available in the link down below i provide references you know for anyone that want to you know look into it you know so i have references for you know ears breasts you know front torso back torso etc and including hands as well and this is where you can you know just chat with a family and you can share your artwork here etc that's just the basis of the discord check it out whatnot and that'll be the video thank you guys for watching peace out